so I'm putting these drawers back here in the shelving unit and it just struck me that you know I've seen people that got all kinds of jigs and precision tools and put these things in crooked and then I've seen some people that were as dumb as a bump on a log that can put these things in perfect they can put them in almost zero clearance and if you see these here I just got through putting these four in I'm gonna put another four right here uh, they've got about a 330 seconds maybe just a little bit less than an eighth of an inch gap straight across and the reason I did that is because I'm not necessarily going to put any faces on these if I was to put a face on them you know I'd have a half inch gap or an inch gap or whatever I wanted and then I would line the faces up and attach the faces but these are for the shop so uh, I mean let's make it nice it's my shop but I'm not going to go all out and put some faces on here. I can just use some decent plywood and then I can uh, install my slides exactly in the space that I want so that the shelves have a very small uh, gap right here. And the reason that is is because it's dusty and I don't want a bunch of dust getting up inside of here. The smaller the gap, the less the chances of dust are. So I'm going to show you how I quickly and simply mount these slides in without any jigs. All I use is a spacer block and they come out almost perfect. There's no thinking. You can even do this without any measuring. So uh, if you're interested in how to put these drawers in here to get an exact clearance that you want perfectly straight almost every time without having to think about it and without buying any fancy jigs stick around and I'll show you how I do it so the first thing I do is I go on Amazon and I'll buy a case of these slides so I can get a case of slides from 65 to 80 dollars which is 10 to 12 in a case so I'm paying about six to eight dollars for a set of these hundred pound slides that the big box store that you would normally pay about $20, $25 for. So go on there, find you some of these slides, and they're all pretty good. I've never really had an issue. You just want to make sure you get the right length. And I like to get the full open. You know, they have like a three quarter open, and you can't get into the back of the drawer, or the drawer won't come all the way out. So go ahead, get you a full open case of slides. And then we need to stick them on the drawers. So now you got your slides. Uh, came in from Amazon next day most of the time. So what you want is this little metal piece here is going to come right to the front of your drawer. If you're putting a face on it, you know, you want to make sure that this is not sticking out past the front of the drawer. So that's going to be mounted right there. Uh, what I'll do is I'll take a little board right here and then I'll take a clamp. And I'll put this little clamp right here, and then that way I know that I can't be past the front of my board. All right, so we got a board up here. I'm going to slide that out, leaving this here flat on the table. And then I'm going to come over here, put a screw in there. I'm going to slide back to my next hole. I like going with the little round holes because... That means your screw is basically touching up against the metal. If you put it in the slotted holes, now you can adjust it after it's in, but if you put it in right to begin with, you don't have to adjust it. So I'll go ahead after I got two of them, that's going to hold me straight. And then I can come over here and put in a third screw. And I like to put in about three of these screws. And so now they're right there to the very front and this is dead flush with the bottom of our drawer because we're on a nice flat table here. Go ahead and do that to all my drawers. All right, now we've got all of our drawers built uh, and we've already got our slides mounted on them and all the slides are mounted on the bottom. So if we want, all we have to do is come over here, set a board on top, take a pencil, mark a line, and then go on our table saw and then we can add in whatever amount we want to that line and that will be our gap in between the drawers. If we want to get precise, 
but still don't want to have to do any measuring, we can just get one of these little setting blocks. We know this is exactly an eighth of an inch. Set that up on here, and then I can set this here, draw my line, go cut this on my table saw, and that'll give me an exactly an eighth of an inch gap. Most of the time, if I'm just looking for a, a quick gap, I'll go over here and find my old paint stir stick. The good ones are usually a full eighth. These are uh, the little cheaper ones from Ace, and they are only about uh, 330 seconds. So I'll place that up there, draw my line, and then I'll go cut this board here on my table saw and use it for a spacer. And I do the simplest and the cheapest. I'll throw my little paint stick up in there. And you really can't measure these. To me, I find it uh, and draw a line because they are they have a rounded corner right here. So you try to mark a line and then put this up in here. I can't get it as straight. So that's why I like to do it with a little setup block like this. Make sure your little stop right here is to the back. You don't want to put them in backwards. And then what I really like is these little lathe uh, screws here. And um, they have a real big head on them. So, uh, you know, it's just a little sharp point. They have these in a self-tapper and a sharp point, but I like to do the sharp point in wood and a self-tapper and so other materials. What I'll do here is I will set my slide in place. I'll push my board back because I want these to be flush. Now, if you were doing drawer slides, a lot of times you'll want to set this back about a sixteenth of an inch, uh, and that way it's pulling it closed, especially if you got self-closing slides, and that way you make sure that your faces are tight up against here. Um, but for me, I want mine to be flush, so I just put it right here flush, and then I make sure that my little carriage is out of the way. And the, the first one is usually the hardest because it's the closest to the uh, surface, but I can come in here, get it lined up, double check it, making sure I'm still flush right there. And then we're going to slide our little carriages out of the way. And then we'll go ahead and put in two more screws. And there's our first slide installed and so all right not for sure why but my camera shut off after i did the first slide over on that side so we're going to go ahead and do this side now it shouldn't take me just a minute and uh, we'll get all these put in
Okay, so there it is. Two and a half minutes, just under two and a half minutes. And I got these four slides, so that's five minutes to set in four sets of slides. All right, so now we got all of our slides set, so we can just come over here. I like to pull my uh, slides out just a hair. And then the first time, I'm getting a little tug. Perfect. Got a perfect little gap underneath the bottom. See, that's what happens when you don't try to pull them out. So that's why I always pull mine out. And that way I make sure they lock in. Perfect. Perfect. So far, gaps are coming out great. This is the first time I put these in. So, uh, good thing they all fit. But that's the thing about when I built these uh, shelving unit, I built them all the same, all the openings the same. And then when I just built these drawers, I built all the drawers the same. And so now, you see, nice and flush. Everything fit right in first time all of our gaps not so this is the finished product um, took a couple hours to build the drawers get everything mounted in here but it really wasn't that long of a project um, if you have one in your neighborhood habitat for humanity resale I was able to pick up these pools for a dollar a piece so um, nice beautiful drawers i did go ahead and spray a quick coat of uh, polycrylic on them it's quick and simple to spray on there it probably cost you know a dollar worth of uh, polyacrylic and once it dries which i mean it's already dry it's uh, fast drying stuff it only takes about 15 20 minutes to dry when you spray it and it makes it look a little bit nicer but the main reason i put them on there is the raw wood the dust will stick to it quicker and by uh, putting a coat of the clear coat on there that will help keep the dust from sticking I you know have a lot of dust out here I got dust collection but it's still and so I'll come through every once in a while with my blower I'll turn my dust collector on and just blow everything out and this way it'll uh, the dust won't stick to the drawers so I hope you enjoyed it and I'll look forward to hearing all your comment uh, comments and feedback like I say, I'm always open. If there's something you see I did wrong, let me know. If uh, you like it, let me know. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. You know, I'm just old guy out here rambling in the shop by myself. So, uh, you know, uh, it's nice to hear everybody's feedback.